It might sound nuts, but Northland's power crisis was caused by contractors removing too many nuts from the base plates of the power pylon that toppled on Thursday. Contractor Amexon was doing maintenance on the pylon and removed all the nuts that anchored three of the four legs to the ground. Now, Transpower says this is unprecedented and inconceivable that so many nuts were removed at once. Its procedure wasn't followed. Normally, only one nut is allowed to be unsecured at a time. Around 100,000 properties were left in the dark and power was only fully restored to the north yesterday. As Adam Hollingworth reports, compensation is now on the minds of Northlanders. A team of three from Transpower's service provider Omexon began routine maintenance work on a pylon in Glorit at 11 o'clock last Thursday before making the mother of all mistakes. Part of that work included maintenance on the base plates which secure the tower to the ground. Our view is that the specifications and procedures for this type of work were not followed. Transpower's CEO didn't hesitate to throw Omexom under the bus. All the nuts securing the tower to the base plate on three legs have been removed, which caused the tower to lift off the base plate and fall. It is unprecedented and inconceivable that so many nuts were removed at once. The failure to follow procedure during a routine cleaning ended up cutting power to 100,000 customers, an admission that's taken four days to come. Mr Green, I'm just clarifying here, you take full responsibility for what happened. We have basically what our people have done on site has caused this to happen. These pictures suggest at least 24 nuts were removed. Transpower says that all the nuts on three base plates had been removed when the usual protocol is to remove one nut at a time on one leg, then replace it and then move to the next nut. It's not one whole base plate, it's one bolt. It took four days to confirm this because Transpower said the priority was to secure the site after what could easily have been a fatal accident. Oh, very fortunate and we, we, we're truly grateful um, that that is not the case. The next priority was to restore power and only then, Transpower says, to establish the cause, even though our cameras on Thursday appeared to identify the problem from hundreds of metres away. I think, as you say, from the pictures, people would make up their own minds. It's really important for us to understand what had caused that? Was there a saboteur involved? Was there corrosion issues with the tower? Mornay Green stands by the competency of the crew, one of whom needed to be a qualified transmission line mechanic. The other two would have undergone a grid skills in-house training programme. All three have been stood down while all base plate work across the country is suspended. Northland businesses have greeted the admission with incredulity. Clearly, you know, it's incompetence in some way, shape or form, and uh, highly rare, but uh, look, it, it admits guilt and, and blame and we're looking to be compensated. Transpower says under the Consumer Guarantees Act, customers can apply to their electricity retailer for compensation. Quoting the Consumer Guarantees Act is a bit of a cop-out, really. I think we need to... Um, we need to be compensated fairly. But the admission of fault appears to open the door for the retailers to recoup those losses further down the chain. Would there be any reason why they wouldn't come to you then for... We'll have to wait and see. North Chamber estimates lost revenue at 60 to 80 million, but full compensation could be much higher. Transpower hopes to restore full power to Northland by Matariki on Friday. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub, 